everybody, long time no see. I feel like I started my last video that I made with exactly the same words. Now, I know what you're all thinking, and I know I'm not very good at this vlogging video thing, but since moving, I honestly just feel like my head has been all over the place. I've not got myself into a good routine, so I've not really found the time to film videos and edit and the whole YouTube thing. So I have been really, 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 really slacking and really behind. However, I have now finally found my perfect routine where I can chill, I can get things done, work and have the time to film and edit all in one week. So that is exactly what I am doing. So I thought for my first video back for a very long time, I thought it would be really nice to do like a weekly vlog because I've got, I'm doing something really exciting tomorrow and then a few chill days. And then I thought it'd be nice just to do kind of like a realistic week in my life type thing. So that's what we're doing. But the time is now currently 7.06 p.m. on Sunday the 13th of November. I have not long finished work and I have made myself the nicest, well, I say I made myself, Carl. Say hi to everybody. Hello, hello. I have made myself... I, keep, I said it again. Carl has made me the nicest glass of red wine. And I know we have a lot to catch up on. However, we have started with HelloFresh. So we are making that tonight for tea. And tonight on the menu is Herbie Burgers and Wedges. So that is what we're currently doing. But before the madness starts tomorrow, I thought it'd be nice just to start this entry to the vlog today tonight i don't even know how to speak to a camera anymore i feel like i've like completely forgotten how to speak the lighting in this bedroom is so awful i am so sorry you have to witness this awful lighting however i'm sure we will get back into it also, so tomorrow, I'm not going to tell you just yet what we're going to do tomorrow, but it's really fun. But in the morning, I have got my first ever smear test. Now, gentlemen, whoever is watching this, I know this might not be for you. However, I feel like it is really important to talk about it because it's kind of like a very daunting thing. I've never been for one before and I've spoken to friends, I've spoken to my mum, I've spoken to family and they have all said the exact same thing. So I know exactly what to expect. However, because it's my first ever one, I am feeling quite anxious. But by the time you've actually watched this video, it will all be over and done with. It'll have been a week since it happened. So, but they are very important to attend. It's very important to get check things to get things checked out and to make sure that they're all as they should be. So, that's what we're doing tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon is going to be very very fun. So, we're going to make our hello fresh and then i'm going to make a really nice bath chill out and wine for the evening and i will see you all tomorrow Good morning everyone. I don't even know if you can hear me, but I have come out of the doctors. I'm with my beloved. You haven't even really said anything. Why? What am I supposed to be saying? Well, it's our first video back in, I don't even know well, how Well, we're looking forward to a lovely day today. I'm very proud of Katie for just getting on with it today and not being scared or anxious. Just a little bit of, uh, ooh, because it's the first one, but well needed but it's to get done it now. Checked, isn't it exactly so we are on our way to the train station because we are going to liverpool today we are going christmas shopping we are going to the christmas markets 
and the funniest part of it all which i actually can't wait which you've probably forgotten about is we are going to make our own lindor advent calendars yes but how cool is that how how cool is that so that's what we're going to do today so we're we, having we basically dressed up christmas shopping as a date day and rolled it all into it yeah basically good. so yeah we're really looking forward to it it's going to be a really nice date day i'm obviously not going to film everything but i will film some parts of it so yeah we will see you when we get to liverpool even see me because of the sun but guys we might have some bad news i think that they're still doing the christmas markets because here is where they usually are however if you can see here and over here they're still like building them and then they're usually all the way over here but they're still creating them so never trust google because when we look to see if the markets were on it said that they were but clearly not. Google has lied to us. Well, we're on the 14th of November. It is a Monday. And it's sad. They were open. Well, they were starting to... Yeah, look, there's nothing here. From Tuesday uh, weekend. Weekend just gone and said they opened. But clearly they've not finished. No, there's nothing here, look. So, we're just going to go do some Christmas shopping instead. We're still going to do our advent calendars still going to do loads of shopping but unfortunately christmas markets is not going to happen sadly we can't it's even really see lunch. well yeah that's the thing actually because we were going to come and have some food in the christmas markets but we will keep you updated on where we go so we are just coming up to the lindor shop now and i've already done some damage and i've only been in one shop but yeah we're at the Lindor shop now, so let's go and make our advent calendar. Guys, honestly, today is not going well so far at all. So, first one. Christmas markets aren't on. Second of all, I mean, this is cute, whatever this is, but it's not open. Yeah, but there's nothing open in there. It's a bar. If you want a drink, you go sit in there. <sighs> anyway, back to how bad today is. So second of all, we go into the Lindor shop sold out of calendars sold out and then third of all we're walking to get some food and i get pooed on by a bird on my hair so i've had to just nip into starbucks quickly and try and get it all out but i feel disgusting and today is just not going well so far on top of that katie's starbucks cup you know the clear ones with the straws in them she took that to work with her, as she always does. Left it there overnight. The camera, but left it there overnight, and someone pinched it. So I was going to replace it as a little pick me up, and they haven't got any stuff. So, how, how, how does Starbucks run out of cups? Yeah, so we're just about to go and get some food and forget about the past half an hour that's happened. Okay, so I don't know if I've already told you. But we have come to TJ, TJ Fridays for food. So we went, both went for these massive cocktails of Purple Rain. They're like humongous, like here's my hand compared. They're huge. I feel like I need it after the event this morning. And then we've gone for halloumi fries with a mint yogurt dip to start. And we've also gone for some mozzarella dippers. So then for our main course, I went for the sesame chicken strips. If you've not tried these, oh my god, you need to. They are delicious. 
and then it comes with chips and I also got a side of onion rings and then Carl went for this glazed, what's it, glazed beef burger? Uh, glazed Friday's burger. It's basically a burger with lettuce, bacon, cheese, uh, some slaw I think somewhere in there, I don't know. And then uh, added some sweet potato fries. So yeah, we're about to tuck into this feast. Guys, I've just had a pinch me moment. I have made my first ever The White Company purchase. So I get cash tips through work, and oh my God, it's raining. And I saved mine from last week. And I said to myself that when we were gonna go to Liverpool shopping, I was gonna go into The White Company and treat myself to something. So here we have, I have treated myself. So I will, I'm gonna, obviously, because this is a weekly vlog, this is gonna be for the rest of the week. I'm having a bit of a lazy day tomorrow, so I won't be filming much. So I will sit down with you all tomorrow and I will go through everything that I have bought from the White Company and I will show you all the bits we got. But oh my God, like, honestly guys, if you put your mind to something, you can really do it. Like, this time last year, I would never have been able to treat myself to anything like this, but, to the get to where I am today and be able to go into one of my like what do I call it like dream shops and buy myself like I've not even bought one thing there's about four things in this bag so yeah very massive pinch me moment but yeah keep working hard and you will get to where you want to be in life good morning everybody so I know I didn't end last night's video well part of the video because when we got back we were so tired like we got back at about half past six and all we literally wanted to do was just sit on the sofa eat food and we watched charlie and the chocolate factory so didn't film anything last night um but then today i'm having more of a chill day i've not really done much this morning i have Watched a bit of YouTube, had some breakfast, done the general, putting the washing away, putting the dishes away. And I thought I would show you the bits that I brought from yesterday because I did promise you that I would show you. But to start off, I'm wearing these pyjamas that I got from Primark, like Christmassy ones. And me and Carl got matching ones. Could you please take, have you got your... No. Oh, so the Carl hasn't got his pajama top on, but this is basically our matching pajamas. We're hopefully going to take a picture when our Christmas tree goes up. Could you please shut the door? Thank you. Hopefully, going to take a picture by the Christmas tree. So hopefully, you can see them a little bit better then. But let's get straight stuck in. So this shop was a massive, massive, huge treat to me i did i think i mentioned that i saved my tips so it's not as if i've literally just like spent money like I, well i did spend money like that but i've saved so i don't do this on a regular basis this is a massive treat to me so the first shop we went into was charlotte tilbury now i'm after a setting spray so i bought myself the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray because I do have the foundation and it's amazing. So I thought I'd treat myself to the setting spray. Then, of course, we went into Lush and I had to pick up a few bits. So I bought the Snow Fairy Body Lotion because at Christmas time, I am obsessed with Snow Fairy. So I bought the body lotion. Then, of course, I bought the Snow Fairy Bath Bomb to go with it. I'm hoping I don't get any glitter or anything anywhere. The smell. Oh, it's just... 
the smell of Snow Fairy just instantly reminds me of Christmas. Then we got the Sleepy Bear. I bought this not long back actually and I've re-bought it because it's just it's one of my favourites. So it's like it's got lavender in it, hence why it's called Sleepy Bear. So there's the lavender and then it's just in the shape of a cute little bear. And then the last one we bought was Butter Bear. Again, this is another one of my Christmas favourites. I'm sure it's changed colour. This one's pink. I don't ever remember it being pink. I always remember it being white. And it's got a little Santa's hat on. So that's everything I picked up in Lush. I didn't want to go OTT because otherwise I would have bought the whole bloody shop. I didn't want to do that. And then last but not least, the massive pinch me moment, which I mentioned in yesterday's video. So we bought this cute little, hang on, let me, this cute little Christmas decoration. We bought another cute little Christmas decoration. I think these are supposed to go on the tree, so we'll see what they look like on the tree, but we might not hang them on the tree. I then bought this, which I've been wanting to buy for ages, and this is the Sleep Relax. So you spray it either on yourself or on your pillow. Um, we tried it last night and it instantly, like, I fell asleep like that, like, didn't take me very long at all. And then last but not least, we bought this winter candle so it's kind of like it's a hand poured botanical candle so it's got a cute little red bow and then it's got like i call it pot puree stuff that's in the candle and it's in the scent winter and it just smells like christmas so i'm very happy about that i'm not going to put any of these bits out yet until i've decided when i'm going to put all my christmas bits up question okay who has put their christmas decorations up because they've put them up in work and i feel like it's kind of spoiling it for me a little bit because by the time i put my christmas decorations up it's not going to be very magical it's not going to be special because i'll have spent every single day in work looking at christmas trees and decorations so i don't know i think i'm going to do it at the start of december now um but yeah i'm not doing it just yet i've got we did a lot of christmas shopping yesterday so i've got some bits that i need to go through today and just tick off bits on my shopping list um but yeah today is going to be more of a relaxing day so you might not see much from me i might go for a swim later i've not been for to the gym or for a swim since we've been back from holiday and it's been like over a month now so I do really need to get back into it. But today's a lazy day. So we're not going to the gym at all. But we may go for a swim. We will see. The weather, let me show you, is so nice today. Well, I mean, nice for me. It's not nice and sunny. It's actually raining. And I have been longing for a lazy day in where it's raining for so long. And it's never happened. It's usually sunny. But today... it's actually raining can you see that we have this tree i don't know if you can see it out there and it's covered in leaves and it's well it was covered in leaves but now they've all fallen off but honestly that tree is my favorite one to look at every time i wake up and i look outside this window and i see that tree it just makes me feel so autumnal so anyway, I've been talking for seven minutes straight now. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to get some of this video edited and then I'm going to finally get dressed. Me and Carla are cooking HelloFresh tonight, so I might show some of that. But yeah, it might be a bit of a higgledy-piggledy video today. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Good evening, everyone. So it is much, much, much later now. I'm with Carl again. And we have just come to Borton to do a little bit of shopping. I needed some bits from Boots. And then we decided to go into M&S because yesterday we were going to have a Picky Bits tea, M&S Picky Bits tea. But um, 
we were too full after TJ Fridays, so we didn't bother. However, I did mention that we were going to have HelloFresh tonight, but again, we've gone into MS and we've seen all the picky bits. So we're going to have MS picky bits tea tonight. Um, so yeah, we're just heading into Tesco to get a few bits now. If they've got any good bits, I'll show you around because their home selection is just and the Tesco Club card. If you don't have a Tesco Club card, you need to get one because they're a lifesaver. You save so much money, it is ridiculous. So they have all of the bits. The whole reason why I've actually really come to see Tesco is because I love these little wax candle Christmas trees. They're only fiver or eight pounds for the bigger one. But all of their Christmas bits we're getting this cushion Carl just demonstrating and also guys Tesco with your club card as I said amazing thing do 25% off all clothing getting this beautiful jumper 25% off with your club card guys gonks this Christmas are huge in season they do all these Christmassy candles yeah and then they've got all the bedding literally guys you need to come to tesco this christmas because all the bits they have are just incredible and then they've got all these bits here star dish to put all your snicky snicky nicky bits in and then all the plates more bowls, cups. Look at these cute little reindeer glasses. How adorable are those? And these for the kids. I used to love drinking out of these when I was a kid. Did you? You know these glasses? Did you oh, ever drink yeah. out of these? A twisty straw around yeah. it. Yeah. Watch you drink till it through it. And then they also look how beautiful these are as well gorgeous again club card prices you need to get on the club card guys and then they've got all of these fun little games for like stocking fillers so yeah you guys need to head to tesco this christmas to get all your bits because i'm telling you you're missing out so this is the wonderful selection we have for our picky bits tonight. We are both so hungry. So we've got these mini cheeseburgers. We've got some garlic dough balls to go with this camembert. We have the cheddar cheese profiteroles, mini steak sandwiches, camembert bites and some chicken tikka naans. I am literally so looking forward to this. m and have got a really good deal on with these. It's four for three at the moment. So you need to head to Tesco and you need to head to m and angels and welcome to the next day next part of this video please excuse the state of my face i have woken up with multiple spots on my face which is highly depressing so i've just had to put this cream on to reduce the redness because my days off are over and i'm back at work i don't start at work till one all week so my new routine has consisted of waking up early and getting things done around the flat so I can have one of my days off to just chill out and not do anything. So that was what we did yesterday. So today I woke up at half eight. I've had my breakfast, brushed my teeth, brushed my hair, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to still stay in my pyjamas because they're just the coziest things ever. And I feel like I'm more productive when I'm cozy. So staying in pyjamas for now, but lots of bits to sort out and organise today. I need to sort out 
all the bits that we bought yesterday from Tesco. We sort out all the bits that we bought on Monday. We need to sort out Christmas bits like Christmas presents, blah, blah, blah. I also need to sort out some washing and I need to put some dishes away. So that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to organise, going to sort our lives out, get some tidy and done, and then it'll be time to go to work. So the time is currently 10 to, you can see me in the microwave, time is 10 to 11. It's actually a really early finish, so I don't actually usually finish till 11. I know I'm in the exact same clothing that I was earlier, but I've just got home from work, I've got dressed, and we're about to make Hello Fresh. It, what are we cooking tonight, darling? We are cooking Speedy Pork Penne. Yes. This is what we're doing tonight. And are we going to watch Anna's Lab? Of course we are. Maybe not well. I don't know if it's an eating challenge, though. If it's an eating challenge, I don't really want to be eating pork penne pasta thing. No, because we thingied, remember? We voted. Yeah, what was it for, then? Definitely not an eating challenge. Right, cool. Yeah, we're good, then. As long as there's no eating challenges, I'm happy to sit and eat food with it. But yeah. And someone's eating a slug. Or a camel's anus. Or a fucking, or a sheep's vagina, and they sat there like wanting to throw up. It's really quite off putting, to be honest. Yeah, I but agree. Hey. But yeah, no, it's not, because I definitely would have said, let's not eat tonight because it's an eating challenge. Let's not eat? No, as in, like, let's not <laughs> eat and watch I'm a Celeb at the same time. But I didn't. So we're going to make this pot penne and watch I'm a Celeb and then head off to bed. Ready for a new day tomorrow. Welcome to day number four, five, I think it is. It's Thursday today. It's 10 to 10 and I'm dressed. We have put the washing away. We have sorted the dishes, just like yesterday. I just didn't think there was any point in filming because I did exactly the same thing and I don't want it to get boring. But this morning, I'm gonna edit some of this video, but also the reason why I picked up the camera is because where's my book? Oh, it's over here. I put things away nice and tidy and then I forget where I put them. 
So I don't know if I've shown you this. I purchased Jane Patisserie's new book not long ago. It's a Celebrate book. So it's everything like Easter, Christmas, birthdays, celebrations. And I saw this yummy dessert that has got mine and Carl's name written all over it. So I thought I would do it as a dessert for us. So I'm going to do that today. Where is it? So these are the salted caramel chocolate pots. If you know me and Carl, you know that we are obsessed with salted caramel. Anything salted caramel has to enter this household. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make these. I was going to say bake, but there's no baking involved. So I'm going to bake these and then get some medicine done and then it'll be time to go to work. my little cherubs so the time is a little bit later tonight it is 20 to 12 and i have just got undressed taken my makeup off home from work and yet again me and carl are about to make hello fresh tonight on the menu is let me find the little here it is pan fried halloumi with mediterranean inspired roasted vegetables and pesto drizzle yum now this is the reason why i haven't really recorded videoed vlogged or anything because honestly my days are the same during the week when i'm working all of my days are the same i literally do chores before i go to work i come home we eat we go to sleep i do chores we go to work we eat we sleep and i just feel like it's not very interesting for people to watch but this is a realistic week in my life so here we are but i'm not gonna video us making hello fresh because i did that yesterday and i just don't feel like it's very interesting for you to see the same thing every single night so from now on i feel like the parts of the vlog are going to become very sparingly is that word sparingly very few, um, very less, very sparing. because I'm just going to be doing the same thing and this vlog is going to become very boring. But I hope you're enjoying it so far and tomorrow is a brand new day and I hope you all have the best evening. <laughs> no idea why i'm so out of breath all i've done is literally just walked upstairs but good morning everybody it is friday morning and today is a very exciting morning because as you can see in the background we have received our hello fresh box so we receive this every friday and next week we have actually skipped 
our box because there was nothing really that we fancied on it and you can actually do that so you can choose your meals they give you selected meals on that app oh my god hang on a minute sorry and then you can either stick with them or you can change them so in today's one we have a very special dinner that we've paid a little bit more for but that's fine or you can actually skip a week if there's nothing that you fancy so that's what we've done for next week i'll probably do some meal prep instead but let's open this box and i will show you what's inside it so when you open the box you get some of these we didn't actually get this last time i think it might be a christmas box christmas book Packs with festive, there we go. Packs with festive inspiration from traditional roast to twist on favourite ingredients. So they do actually do Christmas boxes. And then we've got free box for your friends. So if anybody wants a free HelloFresh box, please let me know. Then we have our meals. So we have the stir fried honey sesame beef noodles. These look absolutely delicious. We then have the pork and cheesy mash pie. Yum, yum. And then for our special one, we went for the Korean inspired sirloin steak night. So we're actually going to have this on Sunday night after I finish work. So those are our meals for this week. And then they all come in these little packages. So each meal has a number. So that's 32, that's three and that's 10. So each meal has its own bag with the number on it. So 10 is for that one and then so on and so forth. So we've got three of those, one for each with the number on it. So I'll just stick these in the fridge as they are. 32. And then, funny story about this. So let me get it out of the box. Oh, we've just got a casual pack of green beans in the bottom of the box. So let's get rid of that. So this, Carl was like, oh, it's just packaging to keep the food nice and cool. And I was like, no, I was like, I'm sure there's food in it. He was like, no, no. He was like, just put it in the box. He was like, we'll get rid of it. It's just packaging. So I was like, I don't trust this guy. I don't trust that that is just packaging. So I cut it open. Bear with me. So there's an ice pack in there. And what else is in there? Oh, it's food. I was like, imagine if I would have stuck to his word and just thrown that. So in here is all of the things that need to keep cool, like the meats, hence why there's an ice pack. So we've got the beef mints. We've got the pork mints. The only thing, the only negative thing that I would say about HelloFresh is the dates on them. So the date today is the 18th and this is used by the 22nd that's 23rd so that's not bad but if you wanted them to last a little bit longer then they don't really last a bit longer so we've got look at these cute little things of cheese what else have we got in here it's literally like opening a mystery box every single morning we have our steaks another ice i've already got two of those in my freezer so i'm actually just going to get rid of those then garlic literally guys every single meal in hello fresh has garlic in it every single meal and i think that is it yeah so that is empty so that's how your hello fresh arrives so i will why is my camera not focusing there we go so i will stick all of these in the fridge and then yeah, whenever we fancy a HelloFresh meal, I'll just get it out of the fridge and it's ready to go and cook. And I don't know if I've explained, but honestly, these HelloFresh meals, like, they literally give you step by step. And you can keep these for future references. I've literally got a whole stack of our previous HelloFresh meals here, so... Yeah, definitely check it out. And if you want a free box, let me know because I have some here. Our next job before I head off to work 
is something actually quite exciting. I've actually been waiting all week to do this. So, as you all know, Christmas is coming up and this is our first Christmas in Chester in this flat. So, a lot of the, like, I've just realised that Carl, so we've basically got a new TV and Carl has moved my bar trolley and not put it back properly. And I've just realised, anyway, um, so we might need some more decorations. I don't know where things are going to go. So this morning, I am going to be sorting through my Christmas decorations. Carl was never one to decorate his flat, so he hasn't got any. So these are just mine. So I'm going to go through them, see what we have, and then go from there gonna listen to some christmas music as well get in the festive spirit and yeah just get this job ticked off the list and done and dusted Good morning guys. So I am dressed like a polar bear today because before work today we are off to do something really exciting. I need to drop it on the floor. Really exciting. So does any of you remember? Sorry, I'm just currently sweating because this is like mahusive. I'm just waiting for Carl to get out of the shower so we can go out. However, does any of you remember in school doing children's christmas what's it called operation children's christmas box where you used to put things in a shoe box and send them off to people children in struggling countries like africa ghana places like that well this year me and carl have decided to partake in that again because obviously we're not in school anymore so we don't do it however this year we are doing it so we have got a box we have picked the a girl aged 10 to 14 and we've got a load of school supplies, we've got revision notes, we've got pens, pencils, sharpener, highlighters, notebook. And we've also put a cute little box, a cute little note in there. So today, this morning, we're going to send this box off. There's some sort of market going around Chester today, so we're going to go and check that out. And then, yeah, it'll be time to go to work. So a little bit of a different morning this morning, not much chores going on, however... We can only go out for a few hours because then I have work. But I hope you all have the best weekend and I shall catch up with you soon. evening guys please excuse the state of me i am just currently walking home from work it's been actually quite a long time since i last updated you all on here i think the last time i filmed was saturday morning and it is now sunday evening so i think i'm gonna end the video here because I'm literally just going to chill out tonight, have a nice bath, basically do everything I did last Sunday. And like I said, this is one of the main reasons why I don't really record anymore, because I just do the same things all the time. And 
it must be boring for you guys to watch. So if you do have any video ideas, please leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next video.